Always a scrappy team if they make it there. And then I look at the lower teams, right, the ones you're supposed to be able to handle easy. Uh, Penn State's red hot. Texas A&M's red hot. Xavier is a tough team. They haven't yep. been red hot. Um, and then Texas has been just playing great ball. So they got a ways to go if they're going to make it to the Final Four. Um, Purdue, I love Purdue. They probably got the hands-down best player in the country, or at least he'll win the Naismith um, in uh, Zach Eady. But they got a tough draw, man. They got to go up against Duke, who's probably got the only other big man in the country that can stack up with Edie. So it's like, ah, I don't know what they're really going to get out of that, and I think it's going to be tough for them to get out of that grouping. Tough uh, second round matchup with Memphis. Seriously, like, Memphis. Tough. Penny Hardaway, like you said, has his team playing ball, and they're dialed in. They want to. They want to show their worth in a tournament for once. Yep. Um, and this might be the year. Uh, Kansas entering the tournament on a little bit of a rough patch, losing back to back games to Texas. That's not like Kansas. That's not. Thoroughbred Kansas I think ball. Bill Self, like the, what his uh, heart condition and health conditions that he's going through. Yep. That's the underlying factor of what's going to happen with the Kansas Jayhawks. Yeah. They don't have that backbone. And then on top of it, you look at the exact opposite, and they got to go up against a well coached Zags team that's red hot. And uh, their coach is going to have them ready. They're red hot, man. They're scorching hot right now coming into the tournament. Who, the Gonzaga? Gonzaga. Okay, okay. Gonzaga. They're 9 and 1 over their last 10. They lost the one game to St. Mary's, who is also in the field of uh, 20. I love, I love the West Bracket. Sorry to cut you off there, but love the West Bracket. The teams in that one from Kansas, and then you have the California schools, you have the West Coast schools with Gonzaga, St. Mary's, UCLA, Arizona State. Yeah, they're loaded. Really good bracket. They're loaded, and you know what? One you didn't mention is the fighting Rick Patinos, who I'm rooting for big time. I love Rick Patino. He's always been able to take all these random schools to Sweet 16s and Elite 8s. Yeah, yeah. I hope Iona's his next one. We'll get into that in a second. Um, but I want to get to my number one seed that I think has the best chance. It's a little bit of an easy move. I'm going with Alabama. I get it. They're the number one overall seed, but they play their first two round games at home. The next two rounds are going to be super close in Georgia, so they're going to be right down the road from their faithful, which are going to roll out pretty deep. Football school, right? Fo Alabama? Football school. their football program. Hey, but they've been building this basketball program yep. for a few years. These are all upperclassmen now. Yeah. Okay, this is not like a brand new Alabama team. They've been in the tournament the last three years, so they're going to know what to do. Um, Brandon Miller seems to have all of his little uh, shenanigans that he got in trouble with that gun that he gave to somebody or not. Who cares? Yeah. Now it's about playing basketball. And he's is that going to be a distraction for him? That's like the biggest conversation about this Alabama If it happened this weekend, I'd be worried about it. But